Today I want to discuss about some issues such as our issues like this here. This. This is stuff I want to discuss about this stuff here. Uh, it's a message to European Union and to American officials, including the CIA agents, European Parliament since 1995. And it also goes to the U.S. Congress. Uh, in this message here, I have clearly indicated a desire. If only would have been possible, I would have decapitated publicly decapitate every one of you. If that would be a possibility, I would. I would publicly lynch every one of you. I wouldn't spare a single life of you. And probably when it comes to your family members, which at times were involved, would have done the same thing. The same thing. That's a quite a provocative video, isn't it? No, it's not. This is not a provocative video. What is provocative is to have a disdain. For using somebody subject one to extreme, 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 forms of genocide for no less than 29 years of which up to 2017 it's 22 years 22 years I was used for a global espionage NATO European Union foremost British and German espionage. 22 years. And what is disgusting is that a part of this job, what they demanded for me to refer to as MKUltra, was for me to literally be murdered publicly. At the end of this, you want to call this ordeal? How do you want to call this stuff? What do you, how do you refer to this stuff like this? When, when you do something like this, what, what do you, how do you refer to something like this? How do you, how do you refer? I don't know how I would repair this because it's human experimentation supported with a heavy torture, intercontinental global torture for the purposes of espionage, for the purposes of steering tensions on certain locations so the world, the wars could commence. So that NATO, European Union, therefore Germany and Britain could form the picture the way they want it and what it appears clearly to me, at the end of this job, you are awarded actually a slow, a painful death, basically. And if only possible, if that will be possible, just as I have stated here, for you to be even seen as a schizophrenic, as a paranoid. Yeah. This sentence alone tells me that Slovenia was not so much alone in this psychiatric crime against me together with the Serbia, with the Moscow, but that one had support at large from abroad, literally from the newly founded homeland United States of America where I immigrated in 95 and where I spent 13 years. It appears that in this sentence, Germany and British, on whose behalf United States of America acted, had a completely different goals in their mind when it comes to 
payment issues with which they commenced in 1995 as like ridiculous amounts of money I would earn for doing what I was doing. And that form of payment, that form of payment is just uh, not any kind of death. But it's actually a slow and as public as possible death, which European Union officials, especially because they want to mark their, you know, everybody wants to mark their government, you know, their accessibility to them, um, their functionality, rather than dysfunctionality. Um, yeah, nothing really markets more to the world than an 80-year-old lie. Look, Germany has a different flag. And uh, the thing about it is nothing really changed. Behind that flag, it's still the same death. Nothing changed, really. It's a different flag it's a different it's called a different democracy but things really 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 didn't change that much and so because of this problem on european continent that eventually existed and also in other countries which collaborated with the nazism but eager to give a world impression about something that's funny. Also about someone. Not I had nothing to do with it. But. About something as. Like a form of guarantee that. You know. They see themselves in. Whomever from whatever. And this and that and so on and so forth. So a slow and a painful as possible and if that wouldn't work somehow another option they use is this one here as I stated this is not such a friendly really I'm not gonna say continent because it goes with the citizenship I gained in 2000 but at other countries, not so friendly, not really so democratic, not really so damn uh, interested to work with the rest of the world. But the rather murderers treacherous, backstabbing, buffoon parade that just through the pathos wants other people globally, whoever, whomever they have suggested lies, because this is what it was. This was a large hypnosis operations this was a large central intelligence hypnosis operation behind every issue whatever the Germans threw me on the picture it was just a mass amount of money that followed around me to make the point valid basically even if it was completely idiotic points I would make they would make sure that those points would still have a value regardless of it so, for those people affected in any way, this European Union officials, this American officials want to make sure that I look just as, I don't know, as dead as possible, realistically as dead as possible, so that they could apologize their buffoon parade, give different than the one from 80 years ago impression to the world you know it's not like this we're not like we are interested in what 
in democracy, in working with the people, equality, and this and that. Yeah, that's how the neo-Nazi swastika works these days. A public lynching of the U.S. Congress officials, a public lynching of European Union officials, that will be just appropriate punishment for the people involved who knew nothing about it. Because this is a mindless, mindless crime the world have not seen yet. And it's a form of payment that words especially should be worried about. Because this job, you know, when I'm talking about the job, talking about the forceless joblessness, talking about the minimum wage, whenever I was allowed to work, talking about money stolen from my saving accounts, whatever I have stolen from bleeding, So, European Union officials, American officials could demonstrate to the world, like, you know, in a form they want it. By the way, whatever you are, if you have somehow seen yourself against me in some way, you definitely do have heavy mental problems. As you knew my life about what the fuck went on. Apart from impression, these governments have given about me. And it goes straight into the home where I lived here in Slovenia. Where I had nothing other than 10 square meters. 5,000 euros together with the income. Combined probably with the social support. And I don't think it came to 6,000. Maybe it was 1,500 1,500 euros that I got social assistance, other was income, but altogether maybe definitely less than 6,000 since 2006, 6,000 since 2006 with being taught to stay away clear from employment office as if I wouldn't. From social assistance requests, I would be thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, again thrown inside a psychiatric hospital, where I was thrown because I wasn't doing my job, according to the CIA, according to the Germans, according to the British. I wasn't doing my job. There were so many people involved in it, and you are just not doing it. You're not pointing out all the locations you were, all the people that you met, all this, this we did for you. So you have to go inside a psychiatric hospital. Listen. Do you understand what I stated to you? Not only to have no right to report you to the state office for the job search, but this, this issues, if you have a problems with this, you're experiencing the most severe mental problems, whatever you are. I don't know anybody, any apology or anything, absolutely anything. Now, I'll tell you what. The blog was fucked, not censored. I'm going to be using censor issue. Joe Biden had here people from Blogger, from Google, literally people that worked at Blogger and also do censorship. And he wanted to play with me a good and bad, an ugly game, with one guy pointing out against me how he's going to go and uh, he's going to just go and censor and censor and censor and la la la. And the other guy who demanded from me to start to review the blog, in other words, to start to pay attention to what the fuck I say on the blog. Okay, okay, okay. Do you understand what the fuck I'm talking about? I'm talking about this stuff here. This is what I am talking about. Uh, I'll give you an example of this stuff here. This post was unpublished and so on and so forth. I'm going to magnify this for you. Yeah, we're doing a video. 
Yeah, we got to be sure that you understand what exactly I am doing. By this is terrible, terrible. This this paint, this on this windows. Uh, it's just a terrible, terrible whack job from Microsoft. They did terrible whack job. The post was unpublished because it violates Windows 11. Is this? It violates blogger community. First time I'm using this Windows 11. I'm apologizing. This post was unpublished because it violates blogger community guidelines to republish piece of dates. There was no fucking guidelines for blogging that was that was violated. Okay? There was no guidelines. The only one who violated were actually employees from the blogger who came inside of this home, inside of this house for like 20 something years to torture, to engage directly in torture. CEOs beginning the 1995, the people from Google appeared here. The owners of the Google appeared here 28, 29 years ago. Nobody violated anything. The police should stash you behind the bars, motherfuckers. What you did is a crime. That kind of crime easily is punishable with imprisonment, with life imprisonment. Nobody violated anything. You violated. You tortured. You came here, literally in Slovenia, with the CIA to murder for your own interests, for your own state interests. You came here to murder. Nobody violated any kind of community guidelines, by the way, because it's not a crime to describe what torture looked like. It's not a crime to make my point valid. From my point of view, from my perspective, since the law enforcement doesn't want to do the job, since the law enforcement rejects to perform as is assigned accordingly with job duties, nobody violated. Nobody violated absolutely anything. I got a right to point out what was done to me, and I got to right to the only other thing that I can do for you, the only other thing I can do for you, because... European Court for Human Rights declined to act. The mother of human rights agencies, United Nations, declined to assist. The mother of human rights, United Nations, in fact, assured itself that no other human rights agency would interfere with a crime against me. They were involved since 1995. For 29 years, United Nations paraded with others as the head, as the number one in crime against me. They harbored decisions from European Court for Human Rights. United Nations harbored crime from Interpol, from International Police Association whom I have reported crimes. Their decisions is what United Nations have harbored. They were behind. They were the main engine, the one that took global responsibility for the crime, the one that okayed, the one that uh, the one that also demanded crime. I did not violate it any kind of community guidelines because there are no fucking community guidelines. Why the fuck do you come here and watch this website? Why do you come here and watch this website? I don't fucking exist. I exist as being punishable according to the laws which you created. But you cannot be punished because of your authority, because of your because of your bureaucracy you have on the other hand. Am I correct? So we don't have anything here. We have a simple form of payment for espionage. You have used me and for which you even stated that I didn't fucking know what the fuck went on because I was demented anyways. And that form of payment of 29 years of stealing because this was not espionage alone. They want to make sure that you're fucking dead when the job is done. 
when you no longer need it, it's time for you to go. This really is a death. So I don't know. This is a notice to the blogger, to the Sergey Brin, and to his partner. What the fuck are you talking about? The community guidelines. And the second thing is, Joe Biden, American president, created a game between the good and bad, between, between a good Google employee and bad Google employee. He created his fictional characters. Good idea. Put in some kind of mode, like a, some kind of panic mode, when I'm going to be just taking sides again based on the two individuals involved in it. I don't to talk about the issue I'm talking about right now, here. I'm talking about the real community guidelines here. This evil blogger employee. This evil blogger employee just wanted to delete the blog. He just wanted to delete everything. And the good blogger employee is tortured and presented their issues whichever fucking way they wanted indirectly in front of me and see themselves in this torture as total reality for me that will be deciding about my life demanded from me and uh, the good employee demanded from me yeah, the good employee, the so-called good employee, which I do want to put on this list here too. I would fucking love nothing more than publicly decapitate you, my friend. You good Google employee. You are not my taste. You're not good according to my taste. You are a swine that somehow exists, a corrupt, murderous swine that somehow exists because a home crime takes place against people. It's swine like you that make things possible. It's swine like this that steps in front of the U.S. Constitution, Bill of Rights, in defense of crime, mindless, murderous crime, and demands from somebody like myself to see in you even good by doing this kind of stuff here. You see this shit here? It has been reinstated has been reinstated and what about Joe Biden demanded from me to see this kind of issue is the issue that would create psychological effect in those that want to take the blog down it would be a psychological effect on those is it would be a side of people that would want the blog down and Obviously, Joe had in mind some kind of, again, espionage in the background. So this will be, again, play with some kind of sanity, again, which this is what this crime against me was used since 1995. That's 29 years. So this billionaire, this American billionaire profiteer with all those other European and American billionaires Profiteers, Australians, and all this just want to engage further in some kind of psychotic game with others. Well, I'm afraid, very, very afraid, all through for the people like this. I feel nothing as 
something that shouldn't even breathe air. I think that if you do feel this way, I think that you are a fucking oxygen waste. If you somehow feel that you see yourself in this block taking it down and uh, taking sides in this shit, I think that you are fucking sick as hell. I do. Or rather than to demand something to be done at the United Nations and or at other government levels if you feel if you see yourself in this stuff you're fucking sick sick is mentally ill as hell if you did not realize this shit is affecting the entire globe entire world that's nothing good this is not a good news this news that you read here on this blog the stuff that you see that you observe is a very bad fucking news after 29 years that I have to go and resort to this kind of issues here? This? This shit is foremost the way I see it. Because Joe Biden is just a shit. It's not even a human being. It's a terrorist. It's a sadistic Irish mate. And I say Irish mate because Ireland should take it. Their side in this conflict, Ireland should voice their voice. But for the rest of it, because especially I was brought so many times for Ireland, and it was for torture, for good reason, none, ever. It was. 26 years of torture on Ireland. That's what the fuck it was. And what they claimed me, it's going to be a place where you will be. Yeah, I will fucking be in hell in Ireland. Yeah, you understand? That much about the island. Should condemn their politician like this if they feel he is Irish. And look, if he is not Irish, then you don't even have to worry about it. But Joe Biden is a terrorist. He is American choice, awarded by Americans. Maybe even as the last president that engaged in crime against me. Beginning with Bill Clinton, George Bush, Obama, Trump, now Biden. Two of which served double presidential terms. He is a fucking disgrace. Which, United States of America, however, is not shy. They're not afraid of that. That's like a, a leadership. So this is, this, is, this is the leadership, this community guidelines I described already in respect to bureaucrats and myself. This is a leadership United States of America is pushing to the world for the sake of the Germany through Britain. And that's the leadership we have seen already 80 years ago. And we know damn well how the hell that went. Look. You got to be mentally ill if you have somehow seen me on that other side. You got to be terribly, terribly mentally ill. Horribly mentally ill. If you somehow have seen me in him. I was what I stated to you. Most of my life I lived like a junkie. This guy not. This is a member of their race. This is one of them. And so if you somehow did have seen me in this year. You're mentally ill. I'm going to repeat to you. Make sure were instruction to me from the good employee 
that you review all the flagged stuff immediately that you review all the flag stuff as fast as possible send this to me for review or the bad employee is going to take this down the block the whole blog is going to take down see this psychopath joe biden by the way joe even your facial features the way you look facially i'll be honest with you you look like a fucking demon and you are demon I recognized demon in you when I saw you in your first hand in your face when I saw you. I recognize demon in you. You look like a demon. You look like a real, real demon. I don't know whether you are Irish or something like this, but to me, you looked and you look like a demon. And this is not against the community guidelines. This is my view on you. This is my idea. This is how you look to me facially. This video, I want to see what, no, I don't want to see, I know, what was it, I was going to say, whomever this stuff had disur uh, disturbed, it started with this here, with the reptilian times, it actually started with this stuff here, with the British Beatrice and Italian hubby Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi. This really, really, really hurt His Majesty. Now it's His Majesty. Now no longer is Her Majesty. Now it's His Majesty appears like. Just the truth. It, it's just the truth that I revealed that appears to me that there's no insult. There's absolutely none. There is nothing here. This is just what we have gone over and over and over and over and over this is just my life what the fuck is wrong about this post I mean, tell me what exactly have i done to have violated your community standards in this post here what what is it what is it which part is it for a british royals to have even hired a band like gorillas and interpreted me as a provocateur, somebody who is just steering the shit around the world. Yes, I was a voodoo doll. I was a voodoo doll. I was used as a voodoo doll, the one that you step from all fucking sides. So they could hide behind me. Trust me, I didn't finance myself. I didn't fly myself to all those locations and come up with all that fucking money. I had none for myself. So what, what, where? I don't see anything here. I don't see. Would you want me to, would you want me to, to go and publicly praise your majesty, the King Charles, for the destroy me 29 years through the most sadistic torture, for the most inhumane torture done against me? So be it. I'm going to apologize for me to be alive. Would that do good for your majesty? King Charles, this is the only thing I can still do for you will be a suicide. Because other than that, I don't sure know how to really satisfy you. I have done so much for you. And I really am without anything other than what I possibly have stated could still have done for you. Yes, your King Charles and your next is going to be your King William. And the new era of kings, the return of the kings is coming back, right? Not that I would have anything against the kings, even less against the capitalism. But this is buffoonery. This is not about the bulls on parade song. This is a fucking buffoonery. This is a derision for human life. This is a derision for a human pain, for a suffering, not even for a human life, because there are different ways to deprive one of life, but this is a pure sadism, a joy 
frankly, this is a fun, this is a fucking entertainment in, in suffering of one. That's what this is. I don't know that I would have done something, something I could possibly have done to hurt feelings on somebody who brought me, hijacked me to Britain time and again, compared me with Wild Peter, what treated me with two weeks at a time, sleep deprived, death threatened, beaten up with all kinds of issues intercontinentally tours, deadly tours for which they told me when they returned me back if you're not going to sleep straight two days, three days you're going to die your heart is going to give in damn fucking right Nothing is wrong with me for posting this stuff here. Damn fucking right, everything is wrong with your community guidelines. With your fucking Google owners. What right the fuck do you have to do stuff like this to the people? Who gave you the right for you to do this? U.S. Congress did. American Central Intelligence Agency did. A Bill of Rights. You know the guy with the name Bill of Rights? How about Mrs. Constitution? You know her? They gave you the fucking rights for you to do this. A neo-Nazi swastika was the one that gave you the rights to do this. So let's see. What the pain? Where the pain? Now I have demonstrated how it all started. There's absolutely no reason to send stuff like this anywhere for review. Then it's this year with reptilian times. This is just a very, very good video I have created to demonstrate What was done to other people? Why people see them as a reptilians? And even why I have seen myself in Panther. And you can see that Brazilian video. I think it was in the Amazon. When cat grabs a large anaconda to dismember one, it's a lie. Snake represents a lie. Everybody knows that. I don't see nothing strange. I don't see nothing crazy. As for insults, insults, there are no fucking insults in here. You gotta see the video. This here. I censored myself. If or else, get your parents on board. Because that's what they wanted to depict my blog is. They had idea on how they're going to portray my blog as form of their news. And it was a really easy thing to take this off. By just copy-pasting certain material. Such as download the blog. That's all I had to do. You just post the links, a free download, blog download, and that's all there was. And the and it, and the news was taken off. It was taken off. All I had to do is just paste this material inside blog download. That's all there was, and it was taken off. Charles hurt with a lot of news, with a lot of crime I exposed, including the one from 2017. 
for which five years in a row, since actually since 2010, they claiming nothing but a slow, painful death, 100%, without any possibility to avoid one. Dead walking man, six months already before the end of the ordeal. The ordeal completely controlled through the food products, or I should say through the local state employment office due to crimes, one already committed. I have to go today to see different situation. This is a crime that went on for 29 years. I have to go to employment office to prove anything. I have to go and send another application anywhere. I sent too many, way too many. Usually people on a long term, such as one year, fall apart for a lifetime. A crime against me lasted for no less than 29 years. There's nothing here really to go about and make further point. For every resume you send out there, for every hope you send out there, and for which you know it's going to be a dead end that one is going to meet, that much more your hope is killed. This is the cancer. This is the London. This is the British Royals. This is the German British Gotha Kaburg Saxe Windsor system. Stalin have not done anything like this. Stalin did not come to such a murderous concept anywhere even near in his lifetime. Little would he even think about causing somebody whom he would use for espionage to do stuff like this. But Kaborg, Gotha, Saxe, Windsors, Berlin, Washington, D.C., I have to apologize their espionage, and they apologize one through causing an individual as much harm as possible for others to see themselves in ordeal, live through the pathos. This new world order that's coming as next is not going to be easy one on humanity. You see a lot of rampant shootings, all kinds of killings left and right. But what's coming as next, what you see here in this blog, it should be especially of your concern if you care about your existence even a little bit. As I stated, if you see yourself in this, you're because you're either mentally ill or it's because you present neo-Nazi swastika. There's no other way. My name is not Elon Musk, really not. It's about pretty much what I exposed as 2017 back then, Prince Charles. Now His Majesty the King Charles, who have stated me inside of the kitchen next to the oven how the ordeal with the cancer from bosses. Crime, which we have rehearsed since 1995 based on human experimentation, starts off right now. It appears that that was the thing that hurt the Charles the most. He's not a very much friendly, mirror friendly person. No, when I say mirror, it's where you see yourself inside. Not very friendly person. He appears have some sort of amnesia. He suffers from the memory loss. And he is resorting himself a lot to psychiatry to compensate for those. Obviously, he's a violent thug. Obviously. There is no intellect in that. It was Prince Andrew that was exposed by others, never rated him as such, but others did, 
as even Charles did, as a physical, as the one that preferred like physical torture that was in, into it, not intellectual, that it was more physical. They called him physical. They called him physical. And I'm not so sure about it. I'm not so sure about it. I'm more sure about what I see here. By the plain facts that speak to themselves. I see the Vatican had a lot of problems with it. When it comes to Vatican, it was European Union Commission, Ursula von der Leyen. There was so much concerned about my future blog in respect to Vatican and so on. So, the Illuminatis, if you want to call them like this, wanted to design, wanted to they basically wanted to own this blog. They wanted to design my death as much as invisible as possible. Visible in a way that you yourself will get an impression about this blog the way they would want me to design. I should say blog is my departure from this world. Fuck the blog like this. <laughs> when they tell you that before actually when when you're going to be ready for your heart surgery for your treatment when it's going to be completion of a new wing done where your father is going to be hospitalized that's in a home for elderly people in novo Mesto. when that's going to be that that's when you're going to have an also option to go that's going to be exactly about the time and stuff like this this is, this is nothing other than time death. Time through the circumstances I clearly have indicated and demonstrated to you through the most toxic, murderous, foremost atmosphere environment these people have created. Superseded Stalin greatly. Stalin would have never thought about anything like this to create a prestige in abuse. But this is a part of the deal. This is a part of the CIA job which Central Intelligence Agency have assigned me, as I stated. So Vatican appears was part of, was very, very sensitive. Western stream media appears was even more affected because I depicted American journalism British journalism, German journalism, DW, Deutsche Welle, BBC, CNN, you fucking name it. Beginning 1996, they started to come inside of this house with a most murderous, possibly murderous functions. First, A, if I would go out there and claim that they brought me here to Slovenia, from Miami Beach repeatedly to depict me as a paranoid. So the only thing they did was they involved journalists whom they claimed me would be on my side. They would confirm. They would they were out there to help me out. And not to depict me as a paranoid, as a schizophrenic. Interesting, in 1995, 80 years before hospitalization to a psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polia, in Slovenia, Americans and British already had a plan how to help me out, which, however, more than help, suggested a really, really, really quick death, if I would even dare to speak about it in absolutely any way, clearly have provided me with what would be deportation back to Slovenia, where I left with death threats in the face given to me by the local police 
issued me ultimatum. If not returning immediately from the contract completion from Celebrity Cruise Lines, I would be killed. First, not even allowing me. First, that threatened me if I would departure for work overseas. I would be acknowledged as an insane and would not be even allowed to leave. Refused to issue me health certificate locally for which I have paid my last dimes too, out of my own pocket. Got one done in Salzburg in Austria instead. It was Salzburg or Linz, I'm not sure. Then, if you wouldn't return, then we're going to get you killed and so on and so forth. And so this was diabolical journalism that afterwards became part of Orwellian picture on how to demonstrate, how to depict one as a schizophrenic, as a paranoid, which diagnosis, royal diagnosis, was given to me, the title was given to me in 2013, 18 years after MK Ultra torture. Now, this was not MK Ultra torture, this is the most bestial torture, which was done through the use of drugs that are used for MK Ultra procedures. That's what that was. It was physically bestial, murderous torture, as physically as demanding painful that one possibly could imagine unimaginable stuff which i survived due to my younger years due to simply involvement in sports heavy i was a heavy athletic heavily involved in sports otherwise you wouldn't hear me i'm now age 51 i didn't know i'm gonna live up to age 30 You understand? I didn't even know I'm going to leave up to age 30. You don't know about what the fuck went on. Most of you don't know. And that's the people I'm turning to. I'm not turning to the people that knew, that observed this crime, because it's a worthless, despicable creatures. I already indicated you exactly if I possibly could have I would depict every fucking one of you because you are not worthy of breathing oxygen. It's too little oxygen in this world for you to breathe on. You are a fucking human waste. The journalism became inseparable part, I should say, post-torture, post-physical torture part. That's why they would sit me in front of the computer with a news. They had their so-called journalists who also would participate in a physical torture, death threats, beatings, all sort of abuse you possibly can imagine. Portray me the news, the way it's going to look in the media, in the future, in the media. And that's how the fuck it went. Since 1998, that's the news that started to appear more and more and more frequently inside of the mainstream media. As the time went on, parallel to the time, the more torture that was done, the more global events, whatever they brought me to, and through each issue, through the torture they have been performed on those events, about events which would give this so-called journalist the opportunity to report about, on the side, the torture was performed, and afterwards, in the post-torture period, they would translate me the news the way they would want me to interpret the news when sitting in front of the TV or in front of the computer. This was since 1998. British royals took the charge. The Sachse Kaburg Gotha Windsors Berlin took the main thing. They were the one. They are going to fucking do this. 
So if you somehow think something is wrong with me because of what I stated, you are fucking mentally ill. Something very, very, very wrong with you. So what have I done against the community guidelines? Why should I go and review this stuff? Huh? That's a question to Joe Biden. What the fuck is your problem? What is your fucking problem? Demon. The Joe Biden coordinated attack, which you see here together with the Slovenian intelligence agency, which talking about attack, community guidelines on blogger was totally coordinated with the crime, with the torture. I was drugged up, ladies and gentlemen, for no less than three years, 24-7. Three years, 24-7. That would at least constitute for 1,200 days. Three times, three times, 365. Probably 1,500 days in my life. I've spent 24-7 walking around. Even during MTR, people get sleep, rest, for their body to function. I did not. It was used for a torture performance to deprive me more than just of the sanity, to basically kill my health next to the cancer they introduced in my body, thrombosis issues. So that I would start to read, pay more attention to what the fuck I write? No, it can't be. It can't be. A top-notch idiots, if you ever watch that on a YouTube, they always reached a deal with the people whom they have literally at times, because most of the time they were in agreement, but at times they were not. Deprive of sanity. The people whom they would do completely mindless crimes, including myself, would afterwards even regret for saying what they stated and stuff like this. I'm never going to regret for what I stated to you today or whatever I have written right there. If I could have decapitated you, I would have lynched you publicly. The first minute I could, I would, without even having a second thought on my mind. So you are, you are despicable shit, and you're never going to feel me, make me feel like one. I'm never going to be in a shadow of you like you claim me. I'm going to be like in a shadow of you, and I'm going to watch you. I was in a shadow of you. I watched William and Harry grow from their diapers into voracious hyenas, wild dogs, the fucking scavengers that claim me upon my death, their freedom will come. I watch this shit from a young age when they claim me at the table inside of the Buckingham Palace, inside of this palaces, whichever, whichever palace was, I don't know which one it was, because I was in every one of them. I was in every one of them. They had me everywhere. Sitting at a table with a grandma about how wealthy I am. What am I going to do with all that money? And they are so happy for me. I watch this shit over the course of the years turn in exactly what I stated to you. Change in front of my eyes. 
I watch them change. I watch them search for non-existing evil to apologize their mindless crime. I watch them grow up. I know who they are. What exactly here is the problem about my writing? Excuse me, about my conscience. What should I feel bad about I have done? How I have violated your community guidelines? Tell me, what have I done exactly wrong so that I can eat myself to death? Tell me, what exactly is wrong with my community guidelines? What have I done? Tell me, do you want me to curse God that brought me to this world? Tell me what the fuck is wrong with me. What have I fucking done? Tell me, I want to know. Tell me. You know, what you see here, this community guidelines, folks, that's what the fuck is wrong with all of you. This is what was wrong with you 80 years ago. You know those concentration camps inside? If your grandparents somehow were in there, they had my family listed and already on a train station for one of those. That's exactly what those community guidelines applied to every one of you. That was the program designed by the Saxe-Coburga Windsors Gotha people for every one of us. This fucking community guidelines. This is what is wrong with me that's what is wrong with me i'll take the responsibility for that part because i understand i understand where this uh, community guidelines come from and if joe biden somehow wants me to condemn something like this if he wants me to see myself in something like that I don't understand one, because I'm not Elon Musk, I'm not his son Hunter, I'm not the wealthy billionaire like you, Joe, you little Irish neo-Nazi fascist hateful little racist fuck as you are, I'm not one of you, it's the people that need the fucking grasp on reality. To see me not in you, to see me not in Saxe Caburga, Gotha, Windsor, Angela Merkel, I don't understand anything about what the fuck have I done here, here to uh, complain about my health. Sorry, man. I apologize. What exactly here? What is exactly here? The, the problem that is the problem with the community guidelines so that I stated how this German was involved. This hypocrite here was involved since 1995 about what? Just pointing out who was behind it all more than anybody. Shit, I see here some news here related to a girl that was involved in this since 1995. How the hell would did this disturb somebody? Oh, it's maybe because I compared this to the Vatican, maybe? 
Yeah, it's true. When you see something like her, you see something beautiful. When you see something that's crying behind the walls of the Vatican, when, for what you know, engaged literally in crime, tortured, was literally involved in torture since 1995, and is posing over there as somebody that gives the hope, but is actually the one behind the crime, that's not so fucking beautiful. That's fucking ugly. You haven't taken hope away. You also murder Pope Francis. And those tears of Pope John Paul were tears of hypocrisy. Those are the tears of saw nothing, heard nothing. It was a middle finger to the one that you claim you serve. You couldn't insult him more than what you did. I have no idea what exactly I would I would see here as something that would that would violate the guidelines. Maybe the article about the Croatian Ustasha state. How I actually contributed to Croatia through depriving myself of life. How the Croatia came to life actually through the operation known as Storm. How I cre created Ante Gotovina, who came back afterwards to pay me with betrayal in my face. With insults, lies he heard in my face? I have no idea, but I don't attempt to compare myself to some Croatian Ustasov, Plenkovic, or Milanovic. Choose the evil between the two. After 29 years of my life, was this destroyed? I don't. I don't see as a thank you, a choice in evil. What exactly was it that bothered? What is it that, that was it? What is it maybe that about the Slovenian here, about the Slovenia, how I was brought on the bridges throughout the Slovenia and gestured to kill myself beginning 1995? Should I, is that, is that like a shame to write about what was done to me, about the torture that was performed on me? Have I committed a sin? Fuck your community guidelines. I remember a video with the Jews in Israel say, fuck your Christ. Yeah, I can say I see myself. Your fucking community guidelines are not in line with mine. My God says to me to say, fuck you. I was silent for the Germans that would feel insulted with my speech here today. I was silent for a very, very long time. I took what none of you in Germany possibly could have. But you know, I touched the subject a little earlier, and I said, new side, and said blog, then I corrected that with the dead. Yeah, that's exactly right. They wanted to make my departure seen 
for those that committed this perfect murder, I should say they committed themselves to this perfect murder. As the least visible as possible. Thus awarding those whom they might have somehow insulted. That's how they portray themselves to the people from other continents. Yes? In front of me too. How I'm going to be fucking dying and this and that. As pleasant as possible. And obviously to the domestic public here throughout the Europe and the US as invisibly possible as much as possible. So that domestic shame and disgrace can be in somewhat in the levels of tolerable, yeah? Because this is the part of the fucking identity that the Jews somehow reject yeah and i do yeah i i say fuck your christianity like this because it's 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 a rather disgrace for the human race so i have no idea what exactly i would have done the lesbian albanian couple i reverted this to the draft because I see no purpose in allowing anyone out there to create news. My blog, according to their taste, this is not even a fucking news site. <laughs> this is a witnessing. This is a testimony of the biggest crime that took place ever. Where my 29 years of life went. This is fuck the news site. This is more than a news site. That's why this one never going to be for sale. I have to articulate this. That's why I also articulated today. So I don't see anything else here. That's why I also articulated here. Ah, oh, fuck this. This is. That's why I also articulated this today. I articulated this stuff today. I wanted. I want it in a, in, a, in a different psychological form. I want to articulate here with this with this news here that I take a full responsibility for my guidelines, not ashamed of them, I'm not shy of them. If you want to challenge me, whichever way you like through your so-called community guidelines, I'm more than willing to accept. But it's one thing I'm never going to do. I'm never going to bend down in front of you. I don't agree with your community guidelines. I don't agree with the way you try to enforce them through such a degree of abuse. I told you about cardiac problems I'm experiencing next to a lot of problems since last year. Actually, started to experience them in 2020 that I'm going to go down and I'm going to go into the dark, quietly into the dark with some kind of community guidelines, with some kind of terror on my mind, basically, to the last moment. Fuck you and your guidelines. Your guidelines are not compatible in absolutely any way with my guidelines. You're asking for too much. I should say, you are asking again for too much because you asked so many times already before for too much. There were so many people that died. And you're doing this shit again. Maybe right now, 
you're doing still on a much smaller scale. But what I indicated so many years ago is going to grow into bigger and bigger and bigger scale. Hey, we already have. It's in Ukraine. It's happening exactly what I told you people is going to happen. It starts with one case. Then it starts with other issues. And it keeps growing and growing and growing and growing until it consumes the world. For whatever you have used me, excuse me, abuse me, I could not have prevented in absolutely any way. But I am not going to allow for this case to go down as something that was subject to some kind of community guidelines, to some kind of laws, to some kind of principles, to some kind of, not even to the fucking theory issues. Not even what I stated earlier, I'm going to allow. Or some kind of a bureaucrats to cite laws. while deliberately ignoring their duties. In fact, using everything contrary to laws for the sake of torture, for the sake of the murder, while enforcing the laws. I'm not fucking going with that kind of logic. Fuck your Jesus. that I would go and search for a culprit in me just as this good and bad guy from blogger insisted review this make sure you do this fast or your blog is going to disappear your blog is going to disappear and so on let me explain to you something all this shit started when I pointed out in Gote Saksakaburg Windsor's as per who was the one who even brought from United States of America a cancer technology for the Slovenian physicians who engaged in a human experimentation, cancer based human experimentation, evaluating the food products in Slovenia. What kind of impact do they have on a cancer? Using me literally as a part of the FDA, federal. Drug Administration Food Inspection, American Food Inspection Services to see, to rate literally the food as per a danger which impact on one head and on a cancer and also on a heart on a health related issues. Then I'm going to go and eventually look for a purpose in myself of violating your community rules, guidelines. For pointing out how you brought to physicians here in Slovenia the ability Demonstrate them how to see whatever it is with the cells that you fast analysis, which you have used to immediately come to conclusion about what kind of impact even the shoe wear had on me, on blood clots and so on. Fuck your community guidelines, you little fucking Christians, Lucifer, Satans. The God, you don't believe in one. Because God wouldn't want to have nothing to do with you. There's nothing godly in you. You're just community guidelines from 80 years ago that are in you. 
the Saxe-Kaburga Gotha, in whom I have clearly pointed out, was behind this cancer, mindless cancer game. Sadism is what prompted your blogger is community guidelines. But you know, both of these owners are Jews. They're from Israel. And it's not because of this issue that I also cannot relate to one, but also because of other crime. Israel have committed himself against me. That's all I wanted to do in respect to this video. Fuck your community guidelines. Let me reiterate to you. If I could have, I would have publicly lynched every fucking one of you inside of this European Union, inside of your US Congress. Those of you that were involved in it since 1995, you don't deserve any other. There is nothing humane in your community guidelines. Fuck your silence, motherfuckers. We have seen your evil before. And the one you tried to pull for the nose have proven you time and again. Now, I'm talking about the one I believe in. I do believe in God. And have placed you right back in the line where it all commenced time and again. Sure enough, history repeats. And the one that pulls the biggest chess figures, that's the one that comes across as right, always. As for myself, I got nothing to say about your community guidelines. Fuck you. Fuck your community guidelines. I went ahead to give you a fast take on what spurred your community guidelines, who was behind them, and the blood stain you made, that will, why one will not go away from you. I cited you. Your fucking godly master race.